Good morning. So um, today I want to see if I can get started on making Snippet Pixie flat pack. So let's have a quick look where I was yesterday with uh, elementary uh, 6 beta 2. I think it's up and running. So. I'll probably need to do a little snapshot. In fact, I might need to revert from where I was. Okay. So this is elementary 6 beta 2. You can tell by the nice desktop. So yesterday um, I got um, uh, Snippet Pixie up and running on this beta. Um, it just works fine, just compiled and ran just fine. Um, but now if I'm going to be doing a snapback, not snapback, that's <laughs> yeah, I use snaps a lot. Um, flat pack. Um, I probably need to revert all all the data that's there now uh, for snippet pixie, so that when I if <laughs> when if I get the flat pack working, I can test to make sure that it does everything it should do. So I think I'll just. Drop this just now, revert to the snapshot. I might then do a couple of little updates. Um, take another snapshot with a sort of clean checkout of the code and then go from there. And we'll see how I go. So snapshot info. Yeah, we've got the two there. And I'll just check how I revert. Okay, apply. Snapshot, apply, pre snippet, fixy. Okay. All right, let's see where we're at. Now I think I should have lost um yeah, lost my shortcut setup and stuff that I did before, so I'll just quickly do that. Um one one. It's a bit slow now that it's got a snapshot of it, is that keyboard shortcuts custom? None. Okay. So black T minus E bash again to get all the good stuff. That's that. And then I want 
Windows, toggle full screen, shift super F. Okay, that's good. And so now we're going to do this. There shouldn't be anything in projects I can do. Okay, good. Right. So while I'm here, I will um, quickly do a couple of setups that I had never did last time that I really should before I do my next snapshot, just to make my dev a little bit easier. So um, first things first, Vim, I need to install the plugins. Okay. So if I come out of that and go back in, it should be good now. Good stuff. And then I want TMUX up and running as well, because I might need that while I'm in here. So TMUX new minus S dev. There we go. Control A install. Install the TMUX plugins. There we go. Let's just rename this. Let's have an admin one at the beginning. Stick a uh, top there so we can keep an eye on stuff. Not very useful in here, I guess, because it's going to be showing everything from. Oh no, it is a VM. We're good. And then I used to. It's like a little one down there. That's fine. Okay, create a new thing here. Uh, this will be snippet stuff. So let's clone it. I haven't done this yesterday. Hopefully, I'll get it first time to go a couple of goes yesterday. Ah, uh, get get uh, B and M Jones snippet pick ah. Uh. No, that's not B and M Jones. Fight Pixie. Do it under my company. There we go. All right, there we go. So that's it ready to be used. Um, but I don't want to use it just yet. Um, Yeah, I don't even want to do setup just yet either. Or do I? I suppose it doesn't matter. I'll leave it for the moment. Okay, so that means I've got my source code. I've got a couple of shortcuts. I've got my Tmux and Vim plugin set up. Um, but there is no snippet pixie yet. So if I go to the next screen here, there's no snippet pixie installed. And we saw that there wasn't a custom shortcut for it. So that means that there's no things like the global settings schema set and everything like that which i want to make sure all gets done properly when i do a flat pack because uh, i have no idea about flat packs and how they work um, so that's all going to be interesting to see how that goes so save tmux setup Tmux. Um, let's 
kill that. Not there. Tmux, you might set dev and restore. That's good. And everything's back. Good stuff. All right. So that works. Um, and I've got the Vim set up. So yeah, okay. I can come out now. Uh, I actually want to do those updates as well, don't I? Notification did not do that. Not slow there. Okay, I've got a few updates. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Flat pack one times updating there. All the other stuff that's good job on doing this first. Um I already know about that. And the screenshot as well. Okay, it's fine. This might take a little while if it's updating one times for flat pack. But it'd be good to get it down so that I can uh, do a snapshot of the VM. Then uh, have a little look at what got to do. So while that's doing its thing, now oh, it's almost done. Is this? I'll leave that for a sec. Uh, so I've got what I need bookmarked. So with a new setup for the App Center in elementary, I need to create a flat pack version of Snipper Pixie. So let's just double check here. Okay. So I'm going to be creating a com.github.bytepixie snippet pixie YML. And I'm going to want something like this. This is where I'm going to come unstuck. <laughs> I expect. This is where I, so because Snippet Pixie uses Dbus to get notifications of keyboard, so keystrokes and stuff. It'll be interesting to see what's available in Flatpak to give my app permission because I have problems with snap and it has to be a classic confined snap so that basically has no confinement because the the interfaces between snap 
and debuffs and all that kind of stuff aren't up and running yet. So I don't know about Flatpak though. This looks simple enough though, because I'm using the standard Mason setup. Dial path, well, that might work. So the compile might work. It's just with a one time, I'm gonna have the permissions I need. And I'll need to find out what, what we need there, finish arcs. That's a strange name. Okay, this is one going to need portal. Maybe. Sandbox permissions. Okay. That'd be interesting. Okay, D bus. So presumably I need this. Don't know whether it might be system bus or session. I guess we'll find out due course. File system access, I will need access normal files on the host, not including host OS or system internals.
Okay. Well, I might. I don't know whether I need to do that. Doubt it. Hopefully that's automatic. And I might be able to just use that instead of that for a little bit more safety. We'll see. Um, but basically I do need a, the ability to import and export um files uh, snippet pixies list of snippets because you can save them out so i assume i assume i don't need network access Okay. It's whether it's or whether I, I'm assuming I'm going to need one of these. Which one I don't know. But we'll come to that. All right. Where are we? Okay. So that's installed. And I'm just going to quickly make sure. It's up to date. And I don't think it's yeah, I did. Yeah, just the config. I shouldn't really do anything now. VM struggling. Maybe my internet is struggling. Cool. Nothing to do. Great. Okay. Let's shut down and snapshot. So, create three SP flat. Okay. If we go again. Now I've got a good solid base to start with my little dev here in elementary six bit to do. So how should we do this? Should we just do this in Vim and stuff, or should we do it in code? Ah, uh, okay, well, let's just get this up and running. Well, I should do a setup.
make sure it can pass. Get rid of all that stuff that doesn't need to change. Cool. So if we look in build, it should have binary that should in theory work. I'm not going to run it because that will set up data and stuff that I don't want to set up yet. I'm not going to install it. Same, same reason. What I want is to build a flat pack and only use that. So um, let's go grab that. Should I try this? I've not used this in a long, long time. Okay. I did set that up. My nice swanky website. Okay. I don't know what's up with my internet today. Just check. Check my router. Hmm. Seems to be there. Okay. Do, 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 do. There's a copy button. Hmm. Can't be doing with white. Right. What preferences have we got on here? Do, 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 tab. Oh, we need spell checking. Oh, didn't I have a female emulation? I'm not doing it just now, but maybe later. Okay, let's uh, open folder. Um, projects. Stupid Pixie. And now. Where's that going to go? New empty file called com dot git hub dot pixie dot snippet pixie dot So wanted to press escape there. Okay, right. Now I'm going to do the same here. OK. 
Okay, we do that, do that, do that. What? Well, that's going to be the same. Oh, I just thought. So Snippet Pixie starts as a desktop file. That starts in the background. <laughs> That'd be interesting. I don't know how that's going to work. We could have some fun and games here. I had to do some stuff as snaps, and I'm not sure whether that's going to be affected here as well. Okay. Okay. So in theory, That's the bare minimum, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to add some stuff here. Don't know yet. Well, almost certain, but don't know. Um, but this may compile. It may not. We'll just find out. So. Copy here, I'll do that. Uh, right, where do you do that then? Oh, that's got to be in the root, isn't it? Um, Okay, let's clean out. So that means there should not be a binary in the build. So that's a clean setup. In theory, it should be buildable because we just did it. Um, if we look at the That's all set up as expected now. So we just need to update this. Be grabbing that in a minute. I'm going to be keep keep on typing that over and over again. So, flat pack builder build. Why has it got an extra space there? That's annoying, isn't it? Delete user install force clean. Interesting. That'll be good. Failed. Okay, what have we got here then? Clap up your snippet pixie one. Okay.
guess it's find more things. Okay. What's the uh, package ibus not found? In specified Vala API directories or go to the really good directories. Now, is that a flat pack thing? It's got to be, isn't it? So, is that what I expected with uh, uh, the missing thing? Do a little again started. Um, sandboxes, permissions, should we try, let's try session bus, because that sounds more confined. Try that. Same problem. Okay. Why? Why would it pass normally? But not with a flat pack build. Does this mean I have to tell flat pack to add it? This is where I'm going to come on stuck because I don't know how to do flat packs yet. So this will be likely a multi-part video as I try and get this thing to build. So, right, I'm going to test this. Well, first of all, My bus dev. Okay. It's definitely installed, which I knew anyway, because I already had it built in. Ah, uh, yeah, it's not. It's not so much D bus as I bus. On top of, but okay. Um, I wonder if I need system bus as part of that then. Maybe there's an iBus. 
permission. Yeah, I don't want that. Grab that then. Doesn't give me a list. It lied. Hmm, okay. That might not be what I need. But let's do... Let's try system bus for a second, just in case. I don't think that's what I need, but... Actually, did I need to do something for this in the snap? I had to add in uh, some workarounds of uh, beans. Oh, yeah, okay. I wonder if I have to do something similar to this. But what I I wonder I 
it might be something more like this, but I don't know. And I haven't got time to find out today. That might be the key thing to do. If we had external defenses that weren't included in our SDK, we would list them here. That might be what I need to do. All right. Well, I'll check out. I'll have to do some reading on um, flat pack building, basically, uh, because I expect I need to tell it to use IBUS package from somewhere to pull it in. All right. Well. Until next time, take care.